Hi there and welcome to today's session. Today I'm going to take you through a tour to show you the differences between ChatGPT 4.0 and Perplexity. So here we are on ChatGPT 4.0 as you can see at the top here. I'm going to write the following but I'm going to close the left here. We don't need that sidebar. And add who is Nelly, well, let me put Dr. Nelly Deutsch. Now, the reason I'm writing this is because I know all about it and everything that's out there, more or less. So I know whether the information is correct or not. So uh, there, here it comes. It's giving me lots of information. You can see that. Uh, it's my favorite way of getting information through paragraphs without bullet points or headings. That's great. Um, share a few resources or rather sources so that um, I can see whether they're correct or not. So let's see if uh, they are and what's out here. I noticed that they took information from integratingtechnology.org and that's uh, the information. They're also adding information from EFL Magazine which is not very credible. I must confess, I did give an interview uh, hosted by EFL Magazine, but I don't think that's uh, enough. I would expect the information to come from elsewhere. You notice they also use my uh, blog here and another website that I don't use that much. So uh, they actually have the wrong website. There is other information out there. Oh, so let me ask for other sources and see if I get any more. But notice how it looks. The layout is just a, a list of things, and that's it. All right, now I could ask um, for other sites, like I could ask for YouTube uh, as a source. Okay, I'm getting more information, but again, it's from very limited about me. Okay, that's fine. Let's um, see if I can get YouTube source and whatever comes up here. Okay, you can see it's quite flat. All right, there's the YouTube channel, but not information about what's out there. Okay, so that's it. Let's go to perplexity and add the same thing. Notice what we added here. Let's go back to the top. All I added was who is Dr. Nelly Deutsch without a question mark which is fine. Okay, so here we go. Ask anything. All right, so here it is. Notice what I get here. I'm using the free version, of course. And here it goes. And notice what happens here. First of all, it starts off with sources. This is where it got the information. It's all the top. Let me close the side there so that it's the same. And notice what I get here. On the right, I get images. I also get videos here from what I can see. So I can watch some videos, get some images, and notice the answer. I didn't have to ask for sources. It came up with it. Notice it even has uh, Merlot here. All right, so it's got YouTube, Merlot, a blog, and about. Okay, uh, notice it's, uh, the, um, there's a lot more information here about mindfulness and everything uh, that I do. What is some, and notice here related questions are added. And, and I think that's uh, amazing. Once you click on it, you get sources where they got it from. Notice LinkedIn as well, which is super important in my case. Right, we've got the video search videos here. We can search, search for images. Generate image, that's for the pro. We don't have a pro here. Ask follow up. So we're just looking at the free. And so far, notice you can also ask for this to be rewritten. You can also share it and uh, copy it. Edit query, change the questions. So let's, um, let's see what else we have here. All right. So notice there's a lot more here and you don't have to do any writing and you just have to click away. And I think that's a lifesaver because writing prompts over and over again and trying to get ChatGPT, for example, if we're talking about ChatGPT, to have more accurate information to, I mean, you can't get that perfect prompt. You, you have to keep 
changing it to elicit what you want. So notice here what topics does um, Deutsch cover in her mindfulness courses. Now notice how wonderful this is. You also get an answer to this with um, mindful meditation. See, things that I would not get on ChatGPT as well as videos. So you're getting a lot of information. What specific mindfulness practices does um, Deutsch teach? Incorporate mindful into blended learning. Any prerequisite to enrolling in the courses? Absolutely amazing. It's very, very thorough. And it's not on my blog. Okay, this information is coming from videos. And of course, everything that I've added to LinkedIn. So we can have more notice uh, if we want to go into, uh, as I said on the right here, or we can go to the plus here and start a new thread. Continue here. And I want to go back to what I had before, not the mindfulness, but I want to go into other topics. But I think most of what I do is probably uh, related. Here we go. This is what I want. I think this should be at the top, not here. So you don't have to scroll down. Because again, we're going back to mindfulness, uh, which is a continuation of this. And I want to go back. I want to ba go back to the original and get what I saw at the top here. Uh, and I don't see it again. So uh, this is something that I would want to have under resources in the answer. So if I want to go into search videos, I can do that. I think that's great because I said most of what I do is on my videos. So let me ask, um, instead of going to the plus there, let me ask uh, more information about here. I'm writing, which is what I do in ChatGPT, about... Um, technology like AI. Okay, let's see. AI. Okay, let's see what we get here. Answer. Okay, LinkedIn, Twitter. Okay, so they're going into um, everywhere. Personalized learning, advocates, integration of artificial intelligence and education. That's true. What about research? Well, there are a lot of you know, I would like to see research and AI and ELT, and I would like to see, um, get information, actually get info from Google Slides that are public. Let's see what happens with that. I would love that information to be added. I think that that would be perfectly great. But as you can see, the sources are not uh, Google Docs or Google Slide presentations are not here. Okay, so we're not getting that. We're getting information here, but not through the slides. How can I use Brisk? Oh, I think I mentioned that, didn't I? Um, okay, let's see what for ELT. Okay, so so actually, you oh, again, it's LinkedIn. It's mostly from LinkedIn and um, YouTube. I would like things from, say, Canvas, any kind of public information from presentations like Canva or, um, as I said, Google Slides presentations. That would be great. But a lot more information here than on chat GPT. And of course, um, I don't see any videos, even though I did mention videos, right? YouTube uh, list some of the videos. But again, it's not the same, is it? This is really flat and not as exciting. I, I want it to be exciting. Okay, we're getting, okay, we're getting some videos here. All right. But if I write the same thing here, um, for example, list some of the videos. Look what I get under perplexity. Here, list some of the videos. Okay. And notice here I get all kinds of videos related to different things, whatever I do. And, and all the videos are accessed. So I really like this. Uh, where can I find Dr. Deutsch's video on using Moodle? Lots of videos on that and immersive technologies, peer learning, all the things that I'm involved in. 
So I'm really happy about perplexity. And I think there's IMT, MSC program. Everything is here. It's absolutely amazing <laughs> in the number of videos. So try perplexity, the free version, preferably, unless you want to pay, of course, and, and that's up to you. So thank you for watching. Um, what do you prefer? ChatGPT or perplexity? For a start, uh, try doing the same as I did. Try to choose someone that you know about or that you'd like to know about, and then try both ChatGPT and perplexity and see uh, which one you prefer, uh, which one um, gives you more information, you get more sources, and so on. And, and let me know what you think in the comment box below. Thank you for watching. <music>